welcome in welcome in my beautiful souls it is your girl wounded healer of tarot and i am back again with another reading care for you today this is going to be a general reading for the sign leo in this reading i will be taking a look at what it is that you need to hear see and know most importantly at this time for your highest good but do keep in mind this is only a general reading so do take what parts of the messages resonates for you this is also a timeless read so whenever you find this message or this message finds you just know that it was meant for you at that time if you happen to have leo anywhere in your birth chart specifically your sun your moon your rising your venus your north node this message is indeed intended for you all right so no further ado let's get into your message leo holy spirit guardian angels ancestral dna calling on you asking that you place divine protection over me as i go into the divination of tarot what's the energies surrounding leo at this time holy spirit clear and precise messages what are the energies surrounding leo at this time There's protection surrounding a new beginning for you, Leo. There's protection around it. Tell me more around this. Tell me more around this protection surrounding Leo. Holy Spirit. Tell me more around this protection surrounding Leo. What's going on? There's protection surrounding a new beginning because right now there's chaos surrounding you. There's conflicting energies surrounding you. For some of you, this energy is around like your family. Um, or for some of you, this energy that is conflicting is surrounding a marriage or a partnership. There's some sort of connection. There's some sort of energy that is attached to you. But it's very, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a energy. There's a struggle around this energy. And that's why this new beginning is being protected. So maybe you've been wanting some sort of new beginning. Maybe you've been waiting for some sort of new beginning. Maybe there has been some sort of opportunity that has been presented to you, whatever the case may be. But it feels like it hasn't just happened yet because there is some sort of struggle you're in right now. What's going on, Holy? The lovers. There it is. That's the struggle right there. The lovers in reverse. You could be dealing with the Gemini. You got a Gemini somewhere in your energy. You could have Gemini somewhere in your birth chart. There's a struggle in a relationship. There's a struggle in a connection. Something here is not on one accord. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What's going on with Leo? Clear and precise messages. What's the energy surrounding Leo? Holy Spirit. Tell me more. What's the energies surrounding Leo? You may feel deceived. You may feel like somebody here has, in a sense, tricked you into believing something. You may feel like somebody here has led you on in some sort of way, but... It came with some sort of betrayal. It came with some sort of deceit. It came with some sort of deception. We're going to get to the bottom line of it, Leo. Tell me more. This was something, this was definitely, for some of you, again, if this is not surrounding a marriage, this is somebody that you've been committed to for quite some time you've given a lot of time to this connection what's going on holy spirit for some of you it seems like either your family has been involved their family has been involved or both families have been involved. There's a lot of energies that is connected to whatever it is that is going on. 
What's going on, Holy Spirit, for Leo? Tell me more. What's going on for Leo, Holy Spirit? Yeah. You may be having a tough time speaking up. You may be having a tough time getting something out. You may be having a tough time with some some form of expression. You even may be feeling stuck and trapped right now. The four of wands is at the bottom of the deck when it comes to whatever it is that is going on. These energies that is surrounding whatever it is that is taking place. What's going on, Holy Spirit? What's going on, Holy Spirit? Somebody here, Father, could be involved. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Yes, the High Priestess. You're looking for answers. You're trying to find some sort of clarity around a situation. You're trying to find some sort of answers around a situation. In particular to, for some of you, you may have had father issues. There could have been an absence in your relationship with a father figure. For some of you, your father could have been locked up in prison. It's also the energy that I'm getting. If this is not your father, this is your child's father who has Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus somewhere in their chart. There could definitely be some back and forth energies right now. What's going on, Holy Spirit? Yes, there is some sort of interference. There's somebody could definitely be locked up somebody here could definitely be in prison if this is not somebody here in physical prison somebody here is feeling mentally emotionally imprisoned somebody here is feeling stuck somebody here is feeling trapped there's a lot of energies going on there's a lot of meddling energies a lot of voices going on it feels like you're maybe getting pulled in so many different directions What are you showing me, spirit? For Leo. Somebody's Jupiter could be in Gemini. What are you showing me here for Leo? Somebody here could be dealing with the Pisces or a Pisces could be involved in your energy somewhere. A Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be involved in your energy somewhere. Definitely, this is tied to your emotions. This is tied to your feelings. Again, it feels like somebody here you feel tricked by, you feel deceived by. Maybe this person is very suave. Maybe this person knows what to say. They know what to do. This is the kind of energy where someone here came with this cup offering you something. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. There could be a Sagittarius somewhere involved in this as well. For some of you, the Sagittarius is your guardian angel, okay? Your spirit guides want you to raise your vibration. Yes, they want you to raise your vibration. Leo, they want you to trust your intuition, trust your instincts, trust your inner knowing, okay? Someone here has psychic abilities, strong psychic abilities, so you're, you're receiving lots of messages at this time, lots of downloads at this time from source, from spirit, through synchronicities, through dreams, through omens, through messages. Indeed, you're receiving some sort of psychic download hits. Split the deck on the high priestess, discernment, vision, prescience, prophecy. You're receiving some sort of psychic download hit. Pisces energy showing up very heavy in your energy right now, Leo. Your moon sign could be in Pisces. 
some of you are seers out there. Some of you are psychics out there. Some of you are sages out there. What else, Holy Spirit? Something here has been put to an end. Something here is needing to end for you. Leo, I almost called you Pisces. You could definitely have Pisces somewhere in your birth chart. Yes, look at that. There's some sort of disruption going on. Spirit is intervening with something here. This is divine intervention coming in, disrupting something here. It's about a transformation that is needing to happen within you. Something here needs to end so the new can begin. Something here is chaotic. Something here about this situation is very unhealthy. Let's dive deeper. Holy Spirit, what is it that you need? Leo, to see, hear, and know. What's going on here for Leo? There you are in your energy. The sun, but bottom of the deck is the three of swords. If someone here is truly yearning for healing, you're yearning for true happiness, you're yearning for peace, you're yearning for a sense of freedom. I feel like you've been asking for some something to the to the universe. You've been praying about something. Okay? And it feels like your spirit guides are they are coming through, letting you know, 11.55 on the clock, Leo, we got you. There's some sort of disruption taking place. The tower is here, not once, but twice now. Because there is some conflicting energies. There's a struggle right now between you and somebody. And if this is not just one person, this is a group of people right now. There's some sort of struggle. There's some sort of tension. There's some sort of conflicting energies that is surrounding you right now. But there's communication coming in from your spirit guides. This is your guardian angel coming in towards you, Leo, this knight of swords. What's this communication that you are trying to get through? To Leo, what's this communication that you are trying to get through? To Leo, somebody Saturn is in Leo. Yes, yes, the full in reverse, the two of wands upright. You have an important decision you are needing to make. You have a decision you are needing to make. You are being guided. You you are being shown the way. Right now, oh, but you're okay. Your dreams are very vivid at this time. Your guys are in constant communication with you through your dreams, okay? Something here you're needing to move on from, but it's still lingering in your energy. There's something here that you're maybe putting, still putting energy into, but your guys are guiding you away from this, Leo. Holy Spirit, what's going on? Your guides are telling you something here is no longer working out, okay? Something here that is no longer meant to be. You know what that is when it comes to a particular connection, when it comes to a particular relationship. Absolutely. This is exactly what I've been talking about. Somebody here is feeling bound, stuck, restricted, chained to a situation that you feel like you can't find yourself out of. You can't get yourself out of. For some of you, it feels, and what it seems to be is, there has been some sort of inner dealings, okay? With two different people coming together, making some sort of deal, making some sort of bet, Ooh, we, but secrets are going to be revealed. The moon with the devil. Pay attention to your dreams, Leo. 
I see the scorpion here. So, ooh, Scorpio energy showing up here. This could be involving a Scorpio. This was done behind your back. Without your knowledge, without your knowing. What's this eight of what's this eight of swords spirit? What's this eight of swords? Somebody's Jupiter is in Leo. Some what's this what's this eight of swords spirit? What's this eight of swords spirit? Oh, for some of you, the past is coming back around. It's somebody that you know. It's somebody that has been in your energy. Whoever this, these people are, they're clowns. They don't take nothing serious. Who's, who is these people? Oh, I'm telling you, your spirit guys are warning you of something. They're warning you of something here. Something is needing to end. Something here is very unhealthy. And your guides are warned. They're showing you the way. They're warning you that you can't go in that direction. You can't keep going down that path. Somebody here is feeling really wounded. You're feeling really hurt, broken down. You may feel depleted. You may feel low in energy. You may feel confused. You may feel like you don't have many options. Holy Spirit, what's going on? For Leo. Yeah, crown chakra in reverse. You are definitely feeling confused. There is a person that you're involved with. They use certain things to their advantage. It's like they pull on you. Like they, they, it's like they think you're their puppet in a sense. What's going on, Holy Spirit, for Leo? What are you showing me? They want you. Yes, 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 yes. See, see, see. You're going to see something through your dreams, through number synchronicities, through omens, through signs, through symbols. In regards to whoever this person is that thinks that the, you are their puppet. They think that they are the ones who is the, the puppet master here. What's going on, Holy Spirit? For Leo. Somebody here could be 36 years of age. Somebody here could be 43 years of age. Okay, again, there you are. I'm telling you, list, use. you're being told to use discernment at this time. You're being told to use discernment at this time. Your guys are going to reveal certain secrets to you. They're going to show you certain things. You may find it out on the internet, okay? So your guys are going to communicate something here with you, okay? You got a guardian angel who is definitely with you every step of the way. This is who they are going to show you. Their intentions. It's somebody that you have a child with or children with. It's somebody that you keep investing in, you keep pouring into. They're going to show you their real intentions. They're going to show you their real motives. What's 
What's going on, Holy Spirit? You're, I'm telling you, you have a spirit guide, okay, that is walking with you every step of the way, okay? There's a need of solitude right now. There's a need for solitude right now. You can have Virgo somewhere in your chart or there's a Virgo somewhere in your energy. What's going on, Holy Spirit? You have a, you have a, 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 a older, this could be a father. This could be a role model that you may have looked up to. This could be a grandfather. You got someone here. With Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus in your chart. Tell me a little bit more about the Sage of Pentacles. Uh, see, somebody here could be locked up. This could be who this person is that could be locked up. I'm noticing even the gate in the background. This person could be locked up. They may be getting out soon. This could be a father, okay? Who's, what's this? Tell me more about the Sage of Pentacles. The Tower in reverse, the Fool in reverse. Maybe this person has been locked up since you were a baby, since you were a child. Maybe they did something that was foolish when they were younger. Okay? The Fool in reverse. Oh, okay. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Aquarius energy. Taurus energy at the bottom of the deck. It's like they want you to remain hopeful. They want you to remain positive right now. Standing strong, staying strong because it seems like your guys are letting you know like you're going to get to that lighthouse. Like everything will soon be okay. Somebody here could be using certain substances to cope with certain things. Somebody here could be grieving over something here. Just in a lot of pain, a lot of hurt. Something is going to sprout for you, Leo. Something is going to, to take off for you. Something is going to happen for you, Leo. Okay? But something here needs to end. The death card. Something here needs to end first. You have it not once, but twice. Something here needs to end. You could be seeing ravens or you can have a strong connection with ravens. Holy Spirit, what's the message for Leo? What's the message here for Leo? With luminous grace, she plays her ways into our hearts, softening hardness and despair, awakening the remembrance of light, of love, of joy. No matter what you have experienced, your heart shall be cleansed and released from ugliness, sorrow, and pain. Negative karmic legacies will be cleared away. Our divine sister goddess invites you to recognize her golden restorative beauty shining within your heart. Cultivate that which is worthy of such beauty, for this is your essential nature. Gracefully release all else with dignity. And it has the number 111.
see again your that new beginning that you are wanting is protected but you have but you have to there this is about you releasing and cleansing from ugliness sorrow and pain negative karmic legacies will be cleared away which is this right here this is the like this is the karmic legacy right here the entrapment Her voice creates and dissolves universes. Her vibration within our souls creates our life path. You have the sacred power of voice. How should you express it? To call for effective divine assistance in all ways. Do not allow negative thought or speech to undermine your inner spiritual connection. Claim your voice and your power to create. Listen for inner guidance and then set your course in motion. Though it may not yet be visible in your physical world, a new order is generating within the soul. In time, it shall manifest in transformed physical circumstances. See, going back to somebody's throat chakra. Claim your voice and your power. Something here in regards to you speaking up. Maybe you feel like you need, there's some sort of justice you're, you're needing or you're fighting for. But something here about you needing to, to claim your voice. Holy Spirit. Tell me more. There's something you're not seeing clear on. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. There's some sort of new beginning happening. There's some sort of new beginning taking place. There's a white rose, which is about pure, purity and, and innocence. Yes, the eight of wands. But there's something you're needing to move on for, from. There's that golden light. Walking towards that golden light. Something you're needing to move on for, from. Move forward on. There's something you have to let go of. Okay, your guys are telling you patience is needed at this time. Yes, there we go. Crown chakra, heart chakra. They both have to be in alignment, but I feel like your guys are saying right now, there's a choice that you are needing to make and it's either heart over mind or mind over heart. Okay? There's something you're needing to confront. There's something you're needing to face. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing here. That is exactly what I'm seeing here. So I'm about to get you some advice. Okay, Leo. And we're going to leave it here. Yeah, there's transformation needing to, is taking place, needing to take place and so forth. That's, that's exactly what I'm seeing here. Let's see. Holy Spirit. Final messages for Leo. Holy Spirit. You can have Aquarius somewhere in your chart. You can have Aries somewhere in your chart. Scorpio in your chart. Virgo in your chart. I've, I think I've already said these signs. But here's the death card showing up. It's something here is needing to come to an ending. Holy Spirit, final messages for Leo. Okay, so we got by the book. So if something here about you, you listening to higher power, because there's some sort of, look at that, higher power as I say that. There's something about you listening to higher power, okay? Committing to spirit, awareness of the signs, divine presence. Divine is connecting with you deeply, heavenly, okay? And we know elephants, they represent a form of good luck. They represent a form of prosperity, but they also represent being um it's about following like the structures right it's about being in order being disciplined and this is what they're trying to do get you in line in some form of way leo okay they, again something here about you being aware of the signs 
There's some sort of good fortune trying to come in, but you it says opportunities aligned with readiness. Are you ready? Is what your spirit guides are saying. Leo. All right. So I'm going to leave your message here. If you got anything from this message and you resonated, give this message a like, a share, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss when I upload more content and when I go live. If you are looking for personal readings, if you are looking for a personal reading, I did just open back up my um, schedule. So you can definitely find my email link in my description box down below. But until then, love and light. Take care.